Every day in court, I see young people come before me, primarily young African-American people, and it seems that they have lost hope. Sometimes their home lives are not so great. They may be dealing with poverty, uh, domestic violence, drug abuse, all sorts of things that come with living in a rural area where people try to use any and everything as a means for escape. So when I see them, what I want to tell them is just don't give up. Growing up in the rural part of Halifax County, I really didn't have much exposure to racism. And I realized there was a problem with racism was when I actually went away, uh, went to college, went to grad school in Indiana and moved back and started my organization. And I realized that racism existed on many levels, not just black and white, but racism also existed within my own race. As in terms of not being accepted or being said I was acting too white, um, because I was a little articulate. But having those conversations and bringing it to the table has been what I felt was more important because some things are deeper than race and we just use race as an excuse. Back in the slavery time, it was mostly black people that was doing all the work. Some of my family right now don't even know what year they was born in. I don't really exactly know myself. I was on the back of the truck coming from Enfield with the man that they were sharecropping with, and I was gonna spend the night with them. And I saw some ropes back there behind the seat. I said, they're gonna hang me, sure. Then I seen these ropes, because I knew about the people hanging folks back then. They don't do that as much now as they did then. I said, well, they're sure gonna hang me today, sir. but that, that, that was just all in my mind. Nobody did anything to hurt me. But it was in my mind. Mm -hmm. I first experienced racism at the age of five. Um, in kindergarten. I was on my way home from school when a bigger boy, maybe third grade, came and punched me in the stomach. And he called me the N-word. And he told me never to talk to his little brother again. And so I was doubled over and I was crying. And I had a hard time processing that. Like, why would this third grader, this big boy, come punch me, a girl, in the stomach? And why did he call me that ugly name? Racism is, is everywhere. Um, but I was always raised to do the best at everything that I do, and that uh, that other stuff really doesn't matter, just to keep on pushing. In the southeastern part of Halifax County, the resources are very limited. So in areas of recreation, uh, education, food, all those areas, and greatly, yes, health disparities, um, we have the highest number of amputations in the southeastern part of um, Halifax County. Um, one of the most challenging um, experiences I think that I have experienced as a student through Halifax County school system was the lack of resources um, that the school administration had um, and I did not realize that until I graduated and started school um, in Winston-Salem that's when I realized how far behind we were. I will say that I do worry about schooling um, when my daughter, our youngest, my youngest does get school age. I'm a little hesitant and that's at least for Halifax and possibly the city schools, which of course I reside outside of that district. A lot of the foods now are processed, pre-bagged and all of that. So there is a barrier of getting healthy foods. What we call them is uh, food deserts because like, half the time all you have is like the corner store or you know the, the local grocery which doesn't have fresh produce or most of the time fresh meat. We have to just keep supporting our, our farmers. You know, um, at the local farmers markets, uh, there's quite a few uh, in Halifax County that we can go in and support the farmers. And so I think mainly it's just us, the consumers, just uh, supporting the farmers that's already there that's putting in the work for us. I think we're coming to a place where America is really birthing into its purpose and what it's supposed to be. If we did pull together the black race, we'd be the strongest race in the country. People can't give up. We are the people and we must work together. I think we are evolving in a way, even though it may seem controversial, it may seem like it's a lot of chaos, but I think out of that will birth something that's beautiful to reflect what America has become.